A tag is a logical name that represents a variable in a network device or in local memory, RAM. There are two types of tags in a Factory Talk View SE application. Direct Reference Tag, HMI Tag. A direct reference tag is a data source that resides within a controller or processor. Changes to a direct reference tag are immediately reflected in a Factory Talk View SE application. The Factory Talk directory component built into Factory Talk View SE software lets users browse directly to a tag in controller or processor. Using direct reference tags eliminates the need to create separate HMI tags for the application. Tip If an HMI application needs to write to a controller tag, the tag's properties in Studio 5000 Logix Designer must be set to read write. An HMI tag is a data source that resides within a Factory Talk View SE tag database. HMI tags can reference either a physical device or a location in local memory. Important HMI tags will no longer be available in Factory Talk View Studio Software version 11. However, many existing installations that use previous versions of the software will continue to use HMI tags. In current and future versions of Factory Talk View Studio software, scaling offsetting must be done in the controller as a direct reference tag. Minimum and maximum values should be configured in the direct reference tag's extended properties. The Tags Editor is used to create or edit tags in a Factory Talk View SE application. You can access the Tags Editor from the Tags option of the Explorer window. You can delete, duplicate, and create tag folders using the buttons in the toolbar above the workspace. HMI folders can be used to organize tags into logical groupings, such as for a machine or for a filling line. If your application contains multiple machines that reference the same tags, you can duplicate an existing HMI folder and rename the folder in the tags within it. Important: It is not necessary to create HMI tag folders. However, if you want to use tag folders, they must be created before you create the tags that are stored in that folder. The Tags Editor is divided into two sections. The form area is reserved for entering and modifying tag data. The spreadsheet area provides a listing of the existing HMI tags and folders. The search for box is used to find specific tags in the database. For example, to search for all the tags that contain the string pump in their name, type asterisk pump asterisk in the search for box. When you press enter, a list of tags containing the string pump appears in the spreadsheet. HMI tags are classified based on the type of information received from a data source. There are three tag types analog, digital, string. When creating analog tags, you can choose from seven data types. In the tags editor, the form area of a tag changes based on the selected data source. HMI tags can be classified as device, memory, system. Access to device tags is provided through an OPC server, such as RS Links Classic Software, or a data server such as Factory Talk Links Software. Keep the following points in mind when creating analog tags. For analog tags that use device as the data source, select the data type that matches the format stored in the controller or processor. When entering scale and offset values, use the decimal point as the decimal symbol, regardless of the symbol specified in the regional settings of the Windows Control Panel. Use the following formulas when scaling data for analog device tags. Factory Talk View value equals parenthesis data source value times scale parenthesis plus offset. Data source value equals parenthesis factory talk view value minus offset parenthesis divided by scale. You can select the data source for a device tag 
using the tag browser. Choose Memory if data originates from the value table or you wish to store variables in volatile memory. When creating a memory tag, you can define a starting value for the tag, whether the tag value is retained when the HMI server shuts down. If the memory tag is retentive, the next time the server starts, the tag will have the same value it had prior to shutting down. System tags are automatically generated when you create an HMI application. You cannot create or edit system tags, but you can use them wherever you would use any other tag. If you are using HMI tags from previously created application, use the Tag Import and Export Wizard to manipulate tag database files. For network distributed applications, the Tag Import and Export Wizard must run on the same terminal as the HMI server. Tag properties can be modified using the Tags Editor or by exporting the HMI tag file and opening the corresponding .csv file using Microsoft Excel software. Certain tag properties can be modified using the Tags Editor. However, some properties, for example tag names, can only be modified by exporting the HMI tag file and opening the corresponding .csv file using Excel or a similar program. More tag database fields exist than what are shown in this example. The other fields can be accessed using the scroll bar. In the tag name column, the folder containing the tag is displayed before the tag's name. When you import and export HMI tags, FactoryTalk View SE software also provides an option to import and export alarm information associated with the tags. This data is saved in a separate .csv file. Here is a guided activity on how to create an HMI tag in a Factory Talk View SE application. Follow the instructions on the screen to perform the steps. Click Start when you're ready.